everybody how's it going i'm Sethum, and today in this video folks i am going to be showing you how to find three power armor suits i'm going to show you their locations as well as what benefits they offer so if you folks enjoy this video please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more similar content from myself as i will be making more guys like this for fallout 76 and if you have just subscribed, remember to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos here on the channel? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. Also, for those interested in hanging out with me, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this can be found, of course, down below in the video's description, as well as in a pinned comment. So, the first power armor is at the Morgantown train station and you'll see these train carriages over there that are red and behind me there should be also a tower that you will notice so this is what the red train carriages look like obviously the power armor is not in here and just out of the upper right corner you'll see that there is a tower as I walk towards the carriage that actually has it so this is the carriage you're looking for it says usa on it do be careful there might be bad npcs around here they're not difficult to take out just do not get swarmed by them in the carriage with the usa you will find a power armor set now of course this particular power armor does not have the armor parts on it it's just a suit because i did remove the armor when i did discover it uh However, I didn't get a chance to make a guide on it because the servers were shutting down for maintenance. So, once you find that, you obviously want to remove all of the armor parts off of it, including the power core. Then you can access the suit of armor. Now, the good thing about this is once you have gone into it, it becomes your personal armor or armor suit. And you will be able to carry it in your inventory. It only weighs 10, so it's not that heavy. Plus... If you do leave it behind, the benefit of that is it will teleport into your inventory. So it's pretty much yours forever to keep. This is the location on the map. It is not far from Vault 76. And not far from here, there is another power armor set that you can get. Now, obviously, they do all have different level requirements. This one, if I were to use the armor part, would require me to be level 50. But as you can see... There is no level requirement for using the suit itself. The power core does last a ridiculous amount of time compared to the Fallout 4 game or any other previous games where the power core drained quite quickly. Also, I will show you that the armor sets or the power armor itself actually does give you some advantages. And if you don't find it there, you can pretty much server hop so what that means is just do what i've done here i've set up a camp now i didn't do it initially knowing that there'd be power armor set i kind of stumbled upon the power armor sets here but you can set up a camp somewhere around here and then quit the game and open it back up so when you open it back up you should in theory be on a different server and you can do this repeatedly until you get a power armor the reason i say this is because over here in this area where i am located at the moment which is between the railway station uh and another location that has another power armor suit that does spawn in this is actually a good spot to farm them this is what it came with so it is the t60 and as you can see it does have a level 50 requirement for me to actually put the armor on it's not a big thing but you can of course store it for later you can use this method that i said before with the server hopping to get all of the sets and as you can see it does add a lot to my strength so i've got pretty much plus 11 due to the power armor and it works quite well with melee weapons it does increase the damage you do with a melee weapon Alright, so from my current location, I'm going to show you the next location with the power armor set. It's right there, and as you can see, just above me, above the location I, I'm going to go to, was the first location that had the power armor. So, I'm going to walk my way 
there now you can use this main road it is actually quite a good road because there isn't a lot of bad stuff spawning in the second power armor set does of course spawn in a warehouse and you have to be careful because it does have a few booby traps i'm going to show you how to get in there without actually falling into the booby traps uh, also do bear in mind that as i'm playing this at the moment there seems to be quite a massive lag on this particular server so things might spawn in at a later time so i've shown you the marker on my map that's where i need to go i know it's very brief but i'll show the map later on once i get to the warehouse so that is my marker on the map i'm gonna go into that direction and over there there should be a warehouse like building it's right in front of me you can see the building you'll know that you're there because there's a river and there's also a bridge that you saw to my right now this is a building itself there are several entrances and there are some small booby traps that you'll need to be aware of i'll show you one of the entrances now if you look on the ground you can see there is a plank with spikes so you'll need to jump over that there's also a another entrance right around back and that has some booby traps on the door frame if uh, if you will it's the similar thing it's pretty much a plank with spikes so do be careful as you go in and i know it's a bit dark and things are still spawning in for me for some reason. I did say that there is a bit of a server lag. But the power armor is in here. Or should be in here. And I'll show you its location in a bit. There we are. There is the second power armor set. Now the reason I'm showing this as well is because it's quite close to Vault 76. Let's see what we've got. Taking all the parts off of it. You can also take the power suit if you want. Uh, I'm going to leave this one here. I don't really want it, but this is its location. It's right next to the train station, train yard. And so the third and final power armor, which is quite close or not far from Vault 76, is at the Mothman Museum. So I'm going to set a marker there somewhere around where I've just put my my little cursor and I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, here we are. This is the Mothman Museum Town. When you do come into this town, do bear in mind there will be quite a few uh, low-level NPCs. Uh, there's also some Protectrons around here, so take your time, clear out. Make sure there's nothing bad, as you can see, or actually here. There are still gunfires going around. I think there are some NPCs that are just broken at the moment, firing at random things. But I did clear this out. It's not anything too difficult. You can come here at a low level to pick up the power armor. Now the Mothman Museum will be somewhere on my left. And this little road does have two entrances. So you can use either side depending on which one you want. This is the Mothman Museum. Now the reason I'm showing this is because there's actually quite a few good things here. This is a statue and to my left you just saw the Mothman Museum. Now... Power armor somewhere on that side, over there, but on the right side, there is a ladder that goes up to the roof of the building that was initially on my right side. Now, there on the roof, you do want to go and scope that out because there's normally some good stuff that you can pick up, and I'll show you exactly what I mean in a couple of seconds. So this is the Mothman Museum. I'm going to go and take the right path first. I'm going to go up there. After which, I will, of course, show you the location of the power armor and how to get to it, as it is a bit of a hidden one, this one. So, right around the far corner that I'm going to, you will find some psychos and some radaways. You might find some ammunition as well. So, it's definitely a good location to come and loot for ammunition and, uh, let's call them the aid materials that you may require at a later time. So I'm gonna slowly loot them. There we go, there's a psycho, there's a right away. And once you finish looting them, just go back down and around the back of the building. On the left there, you will find a 
greenish truck and a demolished bus which will be the way we're going to get on top of the other building as that is how we're going to access the power armor that is in this location now during my gameplay as this is footage from my gameplay i was trying to figure out at this point why there is a scorched still shooting and uh i was trying to get rid of him because that noise was rather annoying So the truck is right to the left. You did see a brief glimpse of it. I'll show you exactly where it is in a bit. Make your way back down. And you just saw it for a brief minute there. I'm obviously trying to figure out at this point uh, where that shooting's coming from. This is the truck that I was on about. So it is a weird green color. We'll need to jump on the cab of the truck then off the cab of the truck onto the bus and then as you see this building has these green things above the windows we'll need to jump on that do be careful don't jump like i did here on the middle otherwise you might find yourself slightly stuck which is what happened to me you do want to jump off the cab of the truck onto the cockpit of the bus basically like so and then you'll want to jump on that green thing above the window. Now you can go to the left first. There are some other things you can loot from over here and I do recommend it. As you can see, there's a fusion cell around and even a laser pistol that you can get. Once you finish looting on this side, just go over to the other side. I personally recommend uh, checking out everything in this area as there might be some good and useful stuff that you can find, as you will see in a bit. Um, this is obviously an area where, of course, not many people will think to come up. So there's always worth a good check and snoop around. The armor, obviously, to access the armor, we'll need to go to the roof, which I'll do just now. And from the roof, there will be a set of planks leading to another building. So it's just the building across the street that we need to get to. And we're going to do that by using the planks across the bridge. So these are the ones I'm talking about. They do form a bit of a bridge right here on top of the body of the bridge. So just a couple of seconds ago to my right side, you saw the building that we want to be on top of. That is where the power armor will be located. And normally around that area there is quite a few good things that can be found such as Radaway, right Psychos and stuff that you will need throughout your game. Uh, as you see there is the power armor on my right hand side and the only way to get here is through the method that I showed you. A very well hidden location, not many people will find it and as you can see there is uh, some Psychos. Got some pipe action pistols right there. We've got quite a few things to loot. So definitely a good location to come looting. So this is the armor itself. As you can see, it'll have several parts. It has the arms and, well, one arm, chest, and one leg. Now, I do have a power armor in my inventory as such. I'm going to claim this one as well. I've put the fusion core in it. And once you've claimed it, it is pretty much yours. So that, to me, says I have two power armor sets, which is quite nice that you can own more of these if you want. And all of these three locations, as you've seen, are not far from Vault 76, which means that you'll be able to gain access to them straight after coming out of the vault uh, there are enemies around that you will need to sort out that's not anything that difficult so getting a power armor suit and the armor off of them is not that complicated at all that is it for this video folks i do hope that you have found the information in this video useful if you have enjoyed it please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more similar content and if you have just subscribed why not check out some of my other videos here on this channel who knows you might just enjoy them 
Also, for those interested in hanging out with me, you can always find me on the Setopia Discord. Links to this, of course, can be found down below in the video's description, as well as in a pinned comment. Until next time, stay safe, folks.